everyone, and welcome into the Writers Roundtable. I'm Taylor Stern, joined by Dave Hellman, Nick Eatman, and Brian Broaddus. The guys wrote a great article yesterday about some of the big top off-season priorities for this team. Brian, I'll start with you. What did you think? Well, you know, I was my thought about the priority was was with Jalen Smith, but it's obviously though. You know, what you're going to do with him, but it, Tony Romo is clearly the, the way this thing is going to go. I mean, he, they're not going to have the huge cap numbers. they got to figure out exactly what they want to do, whether it's move him, uh, let him go. This is a big decision for this front office, and, you know, it's some, one that they're going to have to make here pretty soon. I mean, I, I agree that it's a big decision. It's kind of like hanging over their head. I, I think the... the the biggest thing they've got to do in the offseason, though, is really about the defense and, and the pass rush and, and figure that out. And, and, and they got to, they have tried. I mean, they, they've tried to get guys like the, the Greg Hardys, Randy Gregory's. There have been risks that they need to hit a home run on this. And, and so uh, I don't know if they, they go and spend the JPP money, but they've got to maybe figure out a way, move up in the draft as you can, not the number one, but move up a little bit to try to get a catalytic player on defense. Yeah, obviously. And I mean, our esteemed colleague, Rob Phillips, who's not here, said basically the same thing about the secondary. Big priorities. Jalen Smith is a guy that we've all got our eyes on. But that's what I wrote about yesterday is, and Nick, you kind of alluded to it, it just feels like something's hanging over this team. Or even like there's a, there's a Band-Aid, there's a bandage on this team right now. And I just... I can't worry about any of that stuff until I figure out what's going on with Tony Romo. And he's not sorry, Tay. He's not he's not going to affect the team's on-field play. I mean, you got a starting quarterback in Dak Prescott. I get that, but they got to figure out what what's going to happen here. Well, what are Tony, they going to get for him? Well, Tony what's, Romo's got to help the Cowboys here. He he's got to help. I mean, he can't let the Cowboys go at this alone. If he's going to have a limited number of teams he wants to go to and he wants to work a trade and he comes out and says, I don't expect to be traded. Well, wait a minute. I'll reduce I'll reduce my salary. You know, he's got to help the Cowboys well, here a little and bit. I think he is, though, honestly. I think by going out and saying that, I think there's a strategy involved here. I've said this before. He goes out and says, hey, I'm, I, I think I'm going to get released. Well, that means if it's a team that's that that wants to trade for him but doesn't think that they're at the top of the list says you know what if he gets cut we're out of this oh, market here yeah maybe we need to sweeten the pot a little bit so i think there's a strategy involved in this what is the timeline for this when can fans expect to see some movement made with him therein lies like my whole point really is I mean, I don't think we know, first of all, but I do think it'll be sooner rather than later. I think it's the combine. I think this is when you get all the league together in one place. This is where the dinners and all the night meetings and all that happen. So to me, this, I think we're going to see right before the start, of, right at the combine to the beginning of the league year. I think that's when you're going to see people get a little motivated about. Yeah, and I'm, that's that even seems ambitious for me. But I gotta believe that by the start of April, when you're really buckling down on your draft preparation, I gotta believe by April first, this this has got to be something that gets done. In my opinion, yeah. I think it's way before that, honestly. And, yeah. because and I, I think it should. I think the sooner the better. Yeah. That's my whole point. Is what your pass rush needs help, your secondary needs help. You got to figure out your draft board, well, but you can't do any of that until you figure this out. Twenty-one to twenty-one, three weeks after the start of free agency, I can't imagine the team's got a lot of money that just says, "All right, I mean, unless it's right. Jacksonville or yeah. something like that with the money." So I would imagine that. It, just like with another team, getting that quarterback well, in there, you can't do anything before that. Romo's got to, again, help. He's got to find a way not to be limited to one or two teams. He's got to open this thing up to give the Cowboys a chance to move on from him and he get to where he wants to go. Great discussion, guys. And they will keep you posted on what happens with Romo. We'll have more Combine talk next week, so stay tuned to everything on DallasCowboys.com. Thanks so much for watching.